chatted with you guys in a while lots of life updates today we went and toured the apartment to take measurements and get a sense of like what we're gonna bring what we're gonna sell from here and what new stuff we're gonna buy and I've started the packing journey um, I'm officially done with my semester of grad school so I'm trying to pack um, so that everything's ready to go because we go back to work this week so as you can see we've, we've sort of started the packing journey um, but yeah, I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. It'll probably be, you probably won't see this for a while, but, um, so today I took down all the bookshelves. I had to order bubble wrap, so all of the stuff that can break, I have to still bubble wrap and pack away. And then my goal is to take down my desk because I want to sell this corner desk because the corner desk won't work in the new place. Um, I'm just gonna get a regular desk in the new place. Um, so I want to take everything down so that we can take a picture of it and try to sell it. Which would be really great. Yeah, crazy, wild, things are going wild, but we're really excited. It is day three of packing up and I finally received all of my bubble wrap, slips, and more tape. So we are going to tackle all of the stuff that can break <laughs> really easily. And then I started to do our posters, so I'm going to bubble wrap the rest of our posters. And then tomorrow I have to go to Walmart to get more bins. We decided to go with like bins that we can reuse as opposed to just cardboard boxes because I just it just feels wasteful. Whereas like we're gonna move again in the next five, six, seven years, um, so we might as well just keep the bins because um, they're really easy to store. So we're gonna tackle this and that, and then I think that might be all for the day because I don't have any more bins to put things in. And then tomorrow will be a big day to pack books and a bunch of stuff. So let's pack our really fragile knickknacks together. <laughs> Welcome back to day four or five of packing. It is Sunday and we ran out of boxes. So I'm heading to Walmart. We are using the plastic bins instead of paper just cause um, we're gonna move again. So we'd rather just like invest in the bins and then, you know, use them for storage stuff. So I'm heading to Walmart cause we're gonna get some storage bins, some more bubble wrap, packing tape, and then we start work this week, so I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because we do Trader Joe's hauls for when we meal prep. So I figured I'd bring you along, do a little vloggy vlog uh, of Walmart day. Let's go to Walmart. <laughs> You guys, Walmart on a Sunday is my literal hell. Literal hell and worst nightmare. Don't go. Plan to go during the week. Oh my God, I've never seen anything like that. The literal like checkout line was wrapped around the entirety of the store and this is a Walmart super center. This is not just any old Walmart. Holy crap. Oh God, it's just can't stand it. All right, well, there's a PetSmart here, so I'm gonna go to PetSmart and get some stuff for the dog. Then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's um, to get stuff for the week. But uh, the reason we went to Walmart is because they have the cheapest storage bins, because we didn't want to spend like $20 a bin. So that's why, but holy crap. 
update. <laughs> Epic fail at PetSmart. They don't carry anything that we give our dog. <laughs> okay, Trader Joe's we go! Brings you joy. Oh, I'm such the adult then. <laughs> Six feet of joy right there. Hello, everybody. We are camping on the floor. Cosmo's got his new bed. And uh, tomorrow's moving day. John had to patch all the walls. <laughs> tomorrow's moving day. Everything's in the hallway. We're going to go camping. And um, we'll see you when we're in the new apartment. Well, here we are. Honestly, I might make my dad drive this. Yeah. What kind of daughter makes you help move out to New York City on your birthday? Yeah, my oldest daughter. Well, hello, Joe. Just an update. Something that you should um, check before you move, because I literally had no idea. Commercial vehicles in Manhattan, you can't drive on certain roads, so it's taking twice as long to go anywhere because we can't drive down the West Side Highway. Literally had no idea. Also, we got a phone call that the elevator in our new building is not working. <laughs> so I'm walking back to my apartment and I'm about to give you the tea. We're gonna give you the tea because I just drove around and I, I probably should even just video. Let me see if I can, hold. That was the sign that I was looking for. I just spent 40 minutes driving in circles, calling them on the phone to return this truck. Also, with sugar on top, hold on, I'm running across the street. We had to move in with no elevator. <laughs> and now I'm walking back to my apartment because I have to go get the dog and drive back to Manhattan. What's the time? It's 9.45, and every clock is going to say 9.45, because I like to know what time it is. It's 9.45, and we're in by the skin of our teeth. But you know what? I thought that my um, pride and joy was going to come from um, the, the parking gate going up, but to end the day, didn't, didn't work, work, which is perfect. So instead... We're gonna do a load of laundry with our washer dryer. Let's do it. Oh, it's good. It's good laundry. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Hello everyone. I'm sorry that this vlog is all over the place. Um, our moving day was wild. So I'm just gonna give you a play-by-play -play of how it went because you just saw like chunks of the day. Um, it was a wild day. So let me start. So we packed up the whole apartment. Everything went pretty smooth. We sold a lot of stuff. We got rid of a lot of furniture. Really the only big items that we brought with us are the Murphy bed, which is right here. We have to put it together still. The couch. 
um, our bookshelves, and then I sold my desk, so I bought a new desk, which I'm going to unbox that and show that to you. Um, that's really it. Um, we already knew that we were going to go back on a different day for the turtle tank. It just takes too much time. So everything was wrapped and ready to go, unassembled. Like it was, we were just moving. There was no disassembling of anything. Um, my dad, so graciously on his birthday, helped us move with our friend Elmer and a couple of guys because um, we didn't want to pay professional movers. Um, so the first thing we tried to take out was the bed and it, the, the door of the bed was put together. I thought we were going to be able to get it out. Our hallway is just too small and the elevator is too small. So then we, that took about a half hour and then I was just like, no. So then John had to go to the hardware store to disassemble it. Fine. Then we go for the couch. We get one half of the couch down there. The other half doesn't fit in the elevator. But what makes no sense to me is that it fit in the elevator to come into the building. So then they went down the stairs with it. I should have filmed. I was just so overwhelmed. I should have filmed because it was, it was a pivot moment from friends. If you know, you know. But, um, so then that took like an hour and a half between the couch and the damn door on the bed. So we were already behind. Then everything else was pretty smooth. Uh, elevator was great in our building. My dad is a master genius at packing the van. Everything's great. We get lunch. We go on the road. Didn't know this. Literally didn't know this. You can't drive a commercial vehicle on the West Side Highway in New York City. Had no idea because it was a truck. So we had to go down Broadway to go to New Jersey, which took forever. It took forever to get to New Jersey. Also, we were driving pretty slow because we didn't want to break anything. So it took forever to get there. Before we leave though, before we leave Manhattan, I get a phone call from the new building that says the elevator's out. And they say, oh, so are you just bringing suitcases and grabbing your keys? And I was like, no, we have a full truck with movers. I mean, you know, whatever. And they were like, oh, and I was like, so it needs to be working when we get there. So call somebody. And they were like, okay, we called somebody. We get here, you guys. <laughs> the elevator didn't work the entire move. The entire move into the new building, the elevator didn't work. And there was no option because I had to return the truck or it was going to cost me another like $200, $300. Um, and today, Monday was the only day to move because we, John and I work Tuesday, Thursday. We've got stuff to do on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I'm working. My dad's working. Like there was no other time to do it. So we were like, are they coming? The elevator people, long story short, the elevator people did not come until Tuesday. We moved on Monday. So my poor guys had to move everything up the stairs and then also John had to go to work so like our plan was to be done we started at 7 a.m our plan was to be done and in this apartment by like 3 30 maybe last little bits coming in and then John would go to work John had to go to work he tried to call and see if we get sub couldn't do it um yeah I like kind of had a breakdown it was a mess I mean we got everything in but I just felt so bad and guilty um it was just horrible. And then I had to go back to Manhattan. Um, did I bring the dog? Yeah. So the, we left Cosmo in New York City because I just didn't want to deal with it. I had to go back into Manhattan, pick up the dog. John. So John was working in Manhattan. He met me up at the apartment. We grabbed a bunch of other stuff to bring back with us to get the dog. And we came back here. We got here at like 945 and like kind of set a little bit of the stuff up but then we had to go to work the next day on tuesday so it was a wild crazy moving experience long story short moral of the story um just hire people to do it for you it is not worth you trying to do it also i wonder though like if you hired movers and they showed up somewhere and then you had to have them go up the stairs like would they charge you more i don't know who knows you guys anyway i feel like everyone whenever people move it just sucks but we are here. We are in the new apartment. I've already started to put things together. Look at the light. The greatest part about this apartment, windows, windows, windows. We get light in this apartment. And uh, now that the sun's going to be going down at like nine o'clock. Uh, so like, uh, I just feel like my whole YouTube channel aesthetic is going to change because I've got white cabinets and it's a brand new building with like beautiful, glorious light. Um, yeah, so that was moving day. It was wild, but we're here. So we're back for our content. We're back to make content. I've got a, a bunch of stuff to show you guys. Um, I'm currently vlogging right now. It's a couple days later. Stuff we're going to buy, how we're going to decorate it. Um, I'm going to show you how we put the Murphy bed together if you're interested in that in a separate vlog. 
I had to film an audition today. I'm getting a bunch of auditions, which is amazing. Um, life's wild. I started grad school again. I'm looking for a field site for, for counseling for my graduate school. It's crazy, but it's all really good things. And like, the puppy is being so cute right now. Look at him. Oh, what a sleepy boy. Um, just so happy. I'm gonna cook my first meal tonight with a HelloFresh. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us kind of packing, but not really, and moving. We're so excited to be in the new apartment. I'm so excited to be back and vlogging um, on a consistent schedule, I promise. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before you guys go hit the subscribe button, please stay tuned. I've got a lot of really exciting videos to come about what furniture we're buying and how we're gonna furnish and like home stuff. So that'll be really exciting. I've got a lot of auditions coming. Another round of If uh, This Musical Was a Tap Musical, I did a bunch of them, so I'm gonna give you that video as well with more tap dancing content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one.